Okay, today we're going to set up CC3D on a T-Rex 450 clone. Now at this point you should already have everything plugged in. You should have your servo centered and your swash plate is close to neutral and level with oh, setting up anything in here yet. So you just want everything centered as closely as you can get it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go up here and you're going to import UAV settings. I'm going to put a link to this in the video. This is a baseline for 450s. Do not try to fly your helicopter with this setup as is because it will not work. You will crash and it will suck. I already have that open. So, with this setup, you're going to want to use the PWM wiring which means you use the uh, all the plugs that go into your receiver it's easier to set up than having DSM satellites or PPM or whatever the hell else you got guys. so once you got or make sure all that's right you go into swash plate leveling here all the basic settings are already set up for you you go start You will change. Oh, I see I flipped over to 240 here for some reason. Let me cancel this. This is a weird glitch how that happens every once in a while. There's another glitch where your spin boxes, these things, will disappear if you just go click start. So you gotta click back to basic settings, go to swash plate, and then click start. Now you adjust these until all three of your servos are making your swash plate completely level at mid pitch. And once you got all those set up, go into max level. You're actually going to want to set it up so you got about 14 to 15 degrees of positive pitch at this point. You're not going to use that much and we're going to tone that down with curve settings later. But you want it set up like that because you use a lower KP setting and it allows you to have full range cyclic movement. I notice if I moved it down so I only had 10 degrees positive and negative pitch, the cyclic just felt like crap. So you go through, make sure it's level at top and bottom, and then you'll get to this. And you slide the bar up and down and you see any side to side or front to back movement, you gotta go in and you gotta restart all this and make it perfect. So you got that, save it. And move on to input. Now what you're gonna want to do is run the transmitter setup wizard. This is already done on here for DX6i if that's what you're using, but if you're using anything else, you're going to want to go in here and run through the steps. And once you've got that done, it's pretty self-explanatory, I'm not going to go into it. You're going to go over to flight mode switch settings. And I have no idea why these are on that to be. You're going to want one mode, all rate. And for now, we're going to set this other mode to all manual for setting up. You can change this, at the manual after, to whatever you want. I usually just have two rate modes, one with axis lock, one with rate. And save that. This should pretty much already be done and working for your helicopter. As long as it's a T-Rex, you may have to, sw instead of having this one box checked, you may have to leave this unchecked and check these two if you're collective and everything's backwards. Once you manage to get through this, save it and go to attitude. See, I got roll at my and it's 10 here. That's to counteract the translation tendency because your helicopter is going to want to lean to the 
right as you're hovering and the CC3D does not recognize it so if you use weak leveling or any mode like that and you have that set at zero you're going to have your helicopter drift, drift left and it drifts pretty fast because I had that at zero in weak leveling it just sucked you want to have zero gyros while arming aircraft because if you don't you start it up and watch your helicopter spin around in circles because the yaw gyro screws up. It's kind of unfortunate, but it's just the way it works. We move on to stabilization. This can be different for every single helicopter. A lot of times, this is going to be a little bit low on the KP settings. And a little bit high on the integral. You want to keep raising your KP, the proportional, until it starts to oscillate really fast. And then you want to dial it back about 20%. The integral, I'd usually actually just put right with the proportional. Like if I was running 40, I would run 40 on that too. And it seems to work pretty good. But you're going to want want to screw around with that anyways get it as however you want it to fly and an expert you're going to want to put your gyro noise filtering to at least 0.04 I don't have uh, silicone uh, vibration dampers in my helicopter so I'm running 0.06 because it's just hard mounted to the frame it's working okay not really the greatest I'm probably gonna go and rip it apart and make that a little bit better and max axis lock rate is actually the de dead zone in your controller for your yaw because oh, I only ever use axis lock on yaw and you don't want it too much because it just feels weird. And I don't really I usually use rate because of that. But that's pretty much it. As long as you get your swash plate level and uh, everything's looking okay, you can test fly it. should be okay.